Welcome to today's lesson on the greatest common factor of three or more numbers. Let's go ahead and get started by discussing what a factor is. Well, a factor is a number that you multiply by another number to equal a product. For example, if we were multiplying 7 times 3 to get a product of 21, our factors in this equation are 7 and 3 because they're the numbers that we're multiplying together to get 21. Now, when we're trying to find the greatest common factor of three or more numbers, the first thing we need to do is list out all of the factors for each of the numbers we're trying to compare. Let's go ahead and start with an example. I want to find the greatest common factors of 10, 20, and 30. I need to list out all of the factors for each of those numbers. So let's go ahead and start with the number 10. We know we can multiply 1 times 10 to equal 10 and 2 times 5 to equal 10. So now we've listed the factors for the number 10, so let's move on to the factors for the number 20. We can multiply 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. And now we've listed all of the factors for the number 20. Now, you'll notice that I'm writing all of these numbers in consecutive order from least to greatest. We want to make sure that our numbers are always in order. Let's go ahead and look at number 30. We know we can multiply 1 times 30. We can multiply 2 times 15. We can multiply 3 times 10. We can multiply 5 times 6. So now we've listed all of the factors for the number 30. So now, our next step is to find the greatest common factor. Which factor is listed in each of these different numbers and is the largest one? Well, let's go ahead and start down here. 20 and 10 don't have a common factor of 30, so we cross it out. They don't have a common factor of 15. They don't have a common factor of 20. But look at this. They each have a common factor of 10. So that means that their greatest common factor that they all share is the number 10. Let's go ahead and walk through a practice problem together. Can you find the greatest common factor of these three numbers? 8, 14, 22. All right, well, we know that our first step is to find the factors for each number and to list them in order from least to greatest. So let's start with the number 8. We can multiply 1 times 8 to equal 8, and we can multiply 2 times 4 to equal 8. So now we need to list the factors for the number 14. We can multiply 1 times 14. We can multiply 2 times 7. So now we have our factors for the number 14. Let's go ahead and move on to 22. We can multiply 1 times 22, and we can multiply 2 times 11. So now we've listed all of the factors for each of these numbers, and now we need to find the greatest common factor that they all share. So let's start with the greatest numbers that we have. And we're going to cross out the numbers that they do not share as factors. So they do not share 8, 14, or 22 as a factor. They do not share 11, 7, or 4 as a factor, but they do share 2 as a factor. So the greatest common factor for 8, 14, and 22 is the number 2. Let's go ahead and try another practice problem together. Can you find the greatest common factor of 7, 18, and 21? Well, 7 is pretty simple since it's a prime number, so it only has factors of 1 and 7. Let's go ahead and look at the number 18. We can multiply 1 times 18. We can multiply 2 times 9. And we can multiply 3 times 6. All right, last one. Let's take a look at 21. We can multiply 1 times 21. And we can multiply 3 times 7. So now that we have all of our factors listed, let's go ahead and find the greatest common factor that they all share. So they do not share 21 as a common factor. They do not share 18. They do not share 9. 
But look at this, 7 and 21 both share a factor of 7. But since 18 doesn't share that factor, it's not the greatest common factor of all three numbers. And since we only have one more number left for the number 7, that means that the greatest common factor for three, these three numbers has to be the number 1. Let's review what you've learned in today's lesson. When you're trying to find the greatest common factor of three numbers, you need to compare all of the factors for each of those three numbers and put them in order from least to greatest. For example, if we were trying to find the greatest common factor of 5, 6, and 8, we would have to list the factors for each of these numbers. For the number 5, we would list 1 and 5 because those are the only two factors for that number. For the number 6, we would list 1 times 6 and 2 times 3, and those are the only factors for the number 6. And for the number 8, we would list 1 times 8 and 2 times 4 because those are the only factors for the number 8. And lastly, you then compare the largest factors until you find one that is similar for 5, 6, and 8. So they do not share 8 or 6 as a common factor. They do not share 4, 3, or 5 as a common factor. And even though 6 and 8 share 2, since 5 does not share that number, we have to cross that factor out as well. And that leaves us with the greatest common factor of these three numbers with the number 5.